everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i wanted to do a showdown of all of my favorite bronzer brushes this is something i asked you guys if you'd be interested in and a lot of you showed a lot of interest so i thought it would be fun to film this video so for context bronzer is definitely a product that i struggle a bit with i tend to have a lot of texture on my cheeks i mean you can't really see it now because i've concealed everything but typically without foundation and concealer i definitely have a bunch of bumps and acne scarring in my cheek area and so i often find that bronzers look a bit patchy on me it's usually a product that i have a little bit of trouble blending out and so over the years i have accumulated a lot of bronzer brushes to try to address this problem and I found some that I really love and so today I wanted to run through some of my top bronzer brushes and some of the top brushes that I often hear people rave about in terms of bronzer so if you are on the market for a bronzer brush hopefully you find this video helpful so as you guys can tell, I am looking very pale right now. I put on one of my lightest complexion products, which is the Jung Se Mol Cushion Foundation. I absolutely love that foundation, but it is extremely light on my skin as South Korean makeup. But I wanted to start with a really light base because we're going to do a lot of layers of bronzer today. So first things first, because I have not set my face at all, I wanted to go in with my favorite brush for liquid and cream bronzers, which is the BK Beauty 107 brush. So this is the only synthetic brush in this lineup. Generally speaking, I really love Japanese natural hair fude brushes, and that's what all the other brushes are in this lineup. But when it comes to liquids and creams, I still do prefer synthetic hair just because it's a lot easier to wash. And for me, at least after any use with liquid or cream products, I always feel like I need to wash my brush. And when it comes to synthetic hair brushes, the only brand I've tried that I actually enjoy is BK Beauty. So that's what brought this brush to the top. So for today's look, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand on one side of my face. I feel like this product has been super popular, super viral, lots of dupes coming out. And so I've been wanting more excuses to dip into this product. It looks super, super intense when you first put it on the face, but as you'll see, it blends out very easily as well. And what I love about this BK Beauty brush is it has a very light wispy texture to it. And so it's really good at laying down a fairly diffuse layer of product. As you can see, even though that bronzer looked super intense when I dotted it on my face, now blended out with this brush with just a few taps, it's looking way, way, way more natural. I mean, look at just how effortless and easy that was. And this product also is really beautiful. I have the shade for fair medium, but I find that it works pretty well on my skin tone and I can definitely build it up for more opacity as well. For today though, I'm going to leave that there. And on the other side, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. This is my favorite cream bronzer. And I love using it with this brush because it just gives me so much control over the application. As you can see, a very light layer like that just looks extremely natural on the skin. I feel like with this brush, I really don't have to be careful at all with bronzer placement. I can just go in, you know, as aggressively as I want and then just sweep it all over my face and everything just looks very seamlessly blended. So here we have the cream bronzer on this side and the liquid on this side. BK Beauty is also a fairly affordable brush line considering how nice and luxurious their brushes feel. And so I would highly recommend them. I actually just last night placed an order for like five to 10 more BK Beauty brushes. So I'm really excited to try out more in their line. I was very skeptical for a long time because I feel like everyone on YouTube really promotes them and pretty much everyone seems to have like some sort of promo code. I do not have a promo code with BK Beauty, just my standard affiliate link, but but I can definitely vouch for their products. They are surprisingly really good. And if you're like me and you've tried a ton of synthetic brush brands and not been impressed, it still might be worth checking out BK Beauty. 
So now that the rest of my face is looking pretty bronzy, I could definitely use a little bit of nose contour. And so the next brush in this lineup is this Jumbo Worker from Sonia G. I have this in her Kayaki 2 set. And this is my favorite brush for cream or liquid contour slash bronzer on my nose area. As you can see, it's the perfect shape for just getting in to that area and providing a nice chiseled nose. And I'm just going in with my Charlotte bronzer right now and just lightly tapping some of that product into the contours of my nose. And I love that this brush is extremely soft and so it doesn't lay down too much product. As you can see, even though I've gone in with a couple layers, it's still looking very natural, which is how I prefer my nose contour to look. I really don't want to change the shape of my nose. I just want it to not look totally flat after I've put on all of this foundation and concealer. So I just want to bring back the existing dimension. And I think this brush, especially with this type of cream bronzer, leaves a really natural finish. So moving right along, let's get into some powder bronzers. So the first brush I wanted to talk about in this category is the Jumbo Bronzer Brush from Sonia G. For context, this brush is really big, so let me just show it to you next to the Niji Pro, which is also really large and which we'll talk about in a moment, but you can see that the Jumbo Bronzer is longer and also has more girth in comparison to the Niji. It's also larger than Sonia G's Face Pro, which I'll also talk about shortly. And here it is next to the BK Beauty brush that I just discussed. So on the whole, this is the largest bronzer brush in today's video, and that does have implications for how I use it. So for me, this is a really beautiful bronzer brush if you want sort of a diffuse application of bronzer. So let's go in with this glowish bronzer from Huda Beauty. I have this in shade medium. So when I'm using this brush, I do feel like I have to use a bronzer that is a little bit lighter, a little bit more forgiving. So you can see that with this kind of bronzer, it's not that dissimilar from my skin tone. And that's my preference when using this kind of brush because it leaves a very nice diffuse effect on the skin. If you're wanting that really sort of chiseled contour, I would recommend some of the other brushes that I'll talk about shortly. But this definitely covers a large surface area very quickly. So if you're someone who either has a larger face or likes to have a more diffuse application of bronzer, this is the brush for you. As you can see, it has a lot of nice movement to it. The bristles are quite large. And so that does mean that you have a little bit less control over the placement, but the placement is just gonna look a lot more natural than it might if you have a much stiffer brush, which I'll also showcase shortly. This is also the brush I would recommend if you actually want to use bronzer as a bronzer and not as a brontour. And what I mean by that is what I've been showing you guys so far is more of a bronzer application so applying bronzer in the hollows of my cheeks areas of my face that naturally have shadows technically you're supposed to actually apply bronzer on the high points of your face so kind of the opposite like over the bridge of your nose on your forehead on your chin so it's supposed to be a little bit more about where the sun hits your face and giving you that kind of natural bronzy look to be frank, I don't actually go for that kind of look that often. Most of the time I'm going for a little bit more of a chiseled look. And so I typically do bronzer. But if you are someone who likes to really bronze up your complexion and make your skin tone look a little bit more like sun-kissed, like you've been tanning, then I think this brush is really perfect for that because you can just really quickly sweep all over the high points of your face and have a really natural effect. Moving right along, let's talk about the Niji Pro from Sonia G. So this was the first bronzer brush that I kind of fell in love with because for a while I was using a lot of different brushes that didn't seem like they were necessarily designed specifically for bronzer or contour, whereas this one very explicitly was and has a very unique shape that is really designed to be going into the hollows of your cheeks and the boundaries of your face. So I was very impressed with this brush when I first bought it. I do have a dedicated video to this brush. Now, since I have been using it more over time, I have noticed that it's really good for certain cases and not necessarily for all cases. 
So today I'm gonna to go in with my Coors Let bronzer from M Cosmetics. As you might be able to see, this bronzer is really good if you want to kind of target a very specific area and stamp on some product. It will leave a nice even finish on the skin. And I especially like how it makes things look around my hairline area. This isn't, however, my favorite bronzer brush anymore just because I do feel like along this cheek area, sometimes because it sort of stamps down like this, it doesn't necessarily leave the most diffused edges. So I do sometimes have to go around like this and really make sure that I blur out the edges. And depending on what kind of base products they have underneath, sometimes that sort of stamping and stippling motion can pick up some of the concealer underneath. So you might actually be able to see over here where I do have some acne scarring at the moment. I concealed that up, but now that I've sort of stamped several times, I do feel like some of that concealer picked up so you can just see those dots a little bit more clearly. Now, if I use this on this side of my face where I don't have that issue in terms of acne that I'm trying to cover up, that's not a problem. It just looks really nice. But that is something to note with this brush. So that's a major difference between these two brushes. This one is a lot more forgiving on your base because it's very soft and wispy on the skin. Whereas this one does have more of a buffing motion to it, which can sometimes stir up your base a little bit. Ultimately though, it does just come down to your bronzer application. If you prefer to use a more pigmented or harder to pick up bronzer and sort of buff it into your skin, the Niji Pro is much better for that. Whereas if you prefer to use a lighter bronzer that you lightly scatter all over your face and you don't wanna to be too precise in where it goes, then this jumbo bronzer is a better fit for that kind of application. Moving right along, next up we have the Face Pro. This is one of the OG Sonia G brushes and one that for a long time I heard people rave about for bronzer application. And so when I finally picked up the Jumbo Bronzer in EG Pro, I also wanted to pick this up just for comparison purposes. And I'm really glad I did because even though this Face Pro was not necessarily designed specifically for bronzer, I actually like this the best of all of my Sonia G brushes when it comes to bronzer application. Now the reason for that is I think this brush is a nice hybrid between the two that I just talked about. So whereas the Jumbo Bronzer is sometimes a little bit too wispy for me and a little bit too diffuse in its application, the Face Pro is a little bit more precise in terms of where it applies bronzer. As you can see in cross section, they're fairly similar, but the Face Pro is a little bit smaller and it has that curve that just means that it really hugs the contours of your face very well. And so I find that that gives me a bit more precision in comparison to the Jumbo Bronzer. But at the same time, it's a lot more lightweight and wispy in comparison to the Niji Pro, which is just a much denser brush. And so I find with the Face Pro, I don't have the issue of it disturbing any of my concealer. And I find also I don't have to be too precious in terms of how I'm applying my bronzer, which for me is my preference. I don't really like to have to be too careful when it comes to bronzer. I like to just be able to quickly sweep it on my face like this and just kind of call it a day. And as you can see, this makes very quick work of that. I'm using, by the way, my Pite bronzer. And this is also really fast at bronzing up the forehead area. And this is also a very multifunctional brush. I really love this as well for blush application. As you can see, at least for me, this does cover a significant portion of my cheeks. And I also really love this for all over powder application too. It makes really quick work of that. So on the whole, if you have similar bronzer brush preferences to me, I would highly recommend this Face Pro. I mean, I recommend the other two as well, but this is for me the one that I end up using the most. So the final Sonia G brush I wanted to talk about today is her detail brush from her Lotus series. So I wouldn't say that I like this brush as much as the other ones when it comes to bronzer, especially when I'm at home, but I do really like this brush if I want to do some more targeted contouring or if I'm traveling. 
So one thing you'll notice from these other three is they're all quite large and my face is relatively small. I'm not a very tall person and so it's not that I have a small face overall proportional to my body but just I'm pretty short and so my face is not that large. And so I do sometimes find with these brushes they can be a little bit overwhelming in terms of covering up a lot of my cheek area. And especially if I am trying to go in with more of a cool toned contour and really target it, then this brush size is just a lot more appropriate for my face. So I'm going to actually today go in with my Filmstar Bronze and Glow from Charlotte. This is a pretty cool toned bronzer. I don't know if you guys will really be able to see it because I have like five layers of bronzer on already. But hopefully you can see a little bit like this just goes really nicely in the hollows of my cheeks and not anywhere else. And so especially if I really want to keep my bronzer sort of distinct from my blush and highlight, this is a really excellent brush that just kind of keeps the product where you want it. It has that really nice angle as well, which is my preference for contour and bronzer brushes. I think it just gives me more maneuverability because my arm doesn't have to be like this. It can be like this. And also this just fits really well in that sort of cheek hollow area. I also really love this for blush and highlight as well. So I find this to be a super versatile brush when it comes to traveling. Like you can just pack this one brush and do pretty much all of your pigmented face powders with it. If I'm traveling, I really want to minimize the number of times I'm cleaning and washing my brushes. And so the fact that this is small enough to do highlight and also to do nose contour as well just makes it super handy in my book. And speaking of nose contour, I lied. There's one more Sonia G brush I wanted to talk about. This is the Detail Pro brush. And I bring this out because this is probably overall my favorite powder nose contour brush. I find that this is just the perfect size and shape to leave a really diffused application of bronzer or contour on the nose area. I'm just going in, by the way, with a little bit more of that Filmstar Bronze and Glow in this area. And as I mentioned earlier, when it comes to nose contour, I don't really want anything that looks too harsh. I don't want to be changing the shape of my nose in any way. I just want to make sure my face is not looking totally flat, especially if I have really high coverage foundation on. And I really like that this is just such a soft, wispy, brush and so it leaves that very natural effect in terms of bronzer or contour application. When it comes to the creams and liquids, I like how the Jumbo Worker has a bit of a more precise cross section. But when it comes to the powders, I really like the wispiness just because I find that powder contour on the nose can often look a little bit jarring. Oftentimes, if it's not thoroughly blended out, it just kind of looks like you have lines on your face. And so I really don't like that. But with this brush, I never have that issue. I think it always leaves just a very natural finish on my nose. And this also just happens to be one of my favorite highlight brushes as well. So really lovely multi-use brush. Now you might be surprised to hear that even though we went through a bunch of cult favorite bronzer brushes, we actually have not gotten to my number one favorite bronzer brush. So that honor goes to the newest bronzer brush in my collection, which is the Chikahoto F04 brush. That's this beautiful silver fox brush over here. Now, if you've been watching a lot of my videos recently, this might not come to, as a surprise to you because I've been featuring this brush a lot and every single time I use it, I talk about how much I love it and how it's a major game changer. But I will say myself that I am very surprised that this beat out the Face Pro, it beat out the Bronzer Pro, it beat out all of these lovely Sonia G brushes that I have been collecting and spending a lot of money on. I just bought this brush in Japan because I thought it was really beautiful and I wanted a souvenir, but this has been a major game-changing bronzer brush. So as much as I love all those other brushes, they do still sometimes lead to a bit of patchiness or a bit of finickiness on my cheeks, especially the three larger ones are just very big for my face. I mean, let's just compare here how the Face Pro looks next to this Chikahoto. The Chikahoto is like a tiny, denser version of this Face Pro. 
but I love that it's smaller because that just means that I can go into any product and just really have it hug my cheeks very nicely. It really just takes out the guesswork in terms of where the product's going. And also this is just the most beautiful soft cat's paw like texture ever. I'm just so impressed every time I use this brush. It really doesn't feel like there are individual bristles. It just feels like a paw. Like it feels like a solid mass that is just super, super soft and just laying down a really even layer of powder on my face. And so ever since I got this brush, I've just been loving it so much. And I actually, I went on to Fude Beauty's website and bought several more <laughs> from this series because I love it so much. Definitely stay tuned and subscribe below if you are interested in that video. But for me, this is really the perfect bronzer brush at the moment. I don't know if I will be able to get a bronzer brush that I like more than this one because there's really, I have absolutely no complaints about this brush. I don't know how it could be better because the shape and size is just perfect for my face shape. It gives me that versatility of if I want a diffuse application versus a really concentrated application. It's just extremely soft and comfortable on the cheeks. There's no prickliness whatsoever. And even though I primarily use this for bronzer and love it for that, this is also excellent when it comes to applying blush. So I'm gonna go in with some M Cosmetics Baroque blush. As you can see, it just pads the product on really nicely. If you apply slight pressure, the bristles splay out, which just gives a really nice diffuse effect. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? So I am just really, really impressed with this brush and would highly, highly recommend it. As you can probably tell from today's video, I have been on the hunt for a good bronzer brush for a very long time. I didn't even in today's video mention the vast majority of my bronzer brushes. I have a bunch from Wayne Goss and Refer that I also like, but just didn't quite make the cut in terms of my best bronzer brushes. But this one just came out of nowhere and just really took the cake in terms of being amazing ticking all of my boxes, and I just have not had a bad bronzer application experience with this brush. So before we close out today's video, let me just add a little bit more blush. I have here my Laura Mercier blush in the shade Ginger. I feel like my face, despite all of this bronzer, is still not having as much color as I would like. I feel like recently I've been in a really big pink blush phase and so I'm used to my cheeks just standing out a lot more. And today I tried to keep everything else really light. But there we go. Here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if any of you are still on the hunt for a great bronzer brush, I hope today's video was helpful. I know each of these brushes is quite pricey so hopefully it was helpful to hear about some of the differences between these brushes and what kind of application style they are best suited for. I would love to hear in the comments though what your favorite bronzer brush is. Even though I'm pretty satisfied <laughs> with this Chikahoto one and don't think I'll be deviating a whole lot in the near future, I still am always interested in your guys' recommendations because oftentimes you guys have really great suggestions that later on become my favorites. So that's it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll catch you next time. Bye.